Diffusers are a hugely powerful part of the car, contributing huge amounts of downforce through accelerating airflow underneath the floor. However, teams are always looking to the next invention to try and eke out a little more performance. In the 1980s, some teams directed their exhaust out into the diffuser, pushing high energy air underneath to create more suction, enhancing the overall downforce level. This evolved and the rules were later changed to ban exhaust from being positioned within the diffuser. On Red Bull's 2010 car, the RB6, Adrian Newey's design team came up a way of taking that effect within the bounds of the regulations. Those exhaust gases are fired either side of the diffuser, helping to create a barrier between the airflow shed from the tyre and the airflow moving under the floor. Without that, airflow from the tyre's rotation moves inward, squirting turbulent air into the diffuser and making it less effective. Red Bull's solution made the RB6 and the following RB7 fantastic around the corners, even off throttle. Red Bull and Renault worked together to produce engine maps that would continue to pump out air through the exhaust, even without the throttle being pressed. This was known as cold blowing and helped to keep the exhaust blown diffuser effect constant. This was banned at the end of 2011, but some teams continue to try and exploit that same effect. Giorgio, we're here with the RB6, essentially the pioneer of modern exhaust blown diffusers. Uh, would you be able to talk me through it? Yes, because this car is very clear, the intention of Adrian Newey, the exhaust blow directly to the diffuser in the, in the low section you see of the car. So it was really clear that it was blowing in a way to improve the efficiency of the diffuser. The federation then they try to decide to ban this blowing diffuser, the blowing exhaust in the diffuser. And we have this car where the exhaust has to stop in this position, so quite far away from uh, the rear and uh, from the diffuser, but still they manage to have uh, some uh, advantage from the blowing of the exhaust. This one follows what's called the Coander effect, and so airflow rather like surfaces, and when it's coming out of the exhaust, follows this channel all the way down and pre produces a similar effect as this one. But then, of course, Giorgio, we move into the modern day. They banned this kind of solution, and with the turbo hybrid engines, everything has to be in the middle now. So only one single exhaust for the aspirated engine and two exhaust for the worst state might move back forward in the central position under the rear wing. And even though teams can't blow the diffusers anymore, they're still finding ways to use those exhaust gases. Yes, of course, because at least uh, some benefit you can have also with this position, but of course not so dramatic and not so big uh, as before.